She has a choice here, either destroy her husband or destroy David or do what is right. And so in this moment, she decides to do what is right and says, you know what, I'm going to go talk to David on my own because my allegiance is to God, not to my husband. The Bible says in Proverbs 12, 20, that deceit is in the heart of those who devise evil, but counselors of peace have joy. See, there's always a point in a relationship where a person has to decide, either I'm going to make this thing right, or I'm going to throw flames on top of the flames to make this thing burn hotter than it is. Abigail could have gone back to her husband and said, oh man, do you hear what David said? And then gone to David and said, oh, do you know what Nabal said? And then watch the two fight, watch people die and stand back and be like, look what I have created. I'm powerful. I've, I've caused these men to go to war with each other. But no, she does not stoke the fires of discontent and resentment. She becomes a peacemaker. Now when Abigail saw David, she dismounted quickly from the donkey, fell on her face before David and bowed down to the ground. So she fell at his feet and said, On me, my Lord, on me let this iniquity be. And please let your maid servant speak in your ears and hear the words of your maid servant. Please do not, my Lord, regard this scoundrel, Nabal. She calls her husband a scoundrel. For as is his name, so is he, Nabal. It's his name and folly is with him. See, in this moment, she decides to become a peacemaker. So much so that she's even willing to say, like, you know what? Put it on me. Put it on me. Don't, don't put it on my husband. I'll take this one over. I brought food. I tried to make it right, so put this one on me. I remember when I was a kid, I grew up in uh, uh, the center of the universe, Ballard, Washington. Yes. And uh, I was actually uh, on the edge. I was kind of like Crown Hill, Greenwood, all in there. So I attended Greenwood Elementary School. It was about three blocks from my house. And at Greenwood Elementary, when we were growing up, they had this most enormous wooden play structure. And it, w- it was like one of those old school play structures that were made out of wood and they had the, the metal slide that would like catch you on fire if it was in the sun. Do you guys remember those ones? <laughs> like th- th- this play structure is one of the ones that uh, they would never let kids have, right? Because it had like ropes and you'd get splinters and your, your legs would catch on fire in the sun. And I mean, it was... It was legit. It was so good. And so all the neighborhood kids would go up there and play. This is, this is back when kids played outside. They actually used to do this. And so our parents would actually just put us out of the house and say, be back by dark. And you just go down there and hang out. There's always kids there, man. And we'd play chase and tag and just hang out until the, you know, it started to get dark. And then we'd walk three blocks home by ourselves at dusk. And then... We lived, like it was fine, right? And we loved this place. And then one day, we went to go and play on it, and someone had lit it on fire. I don't, I don't, for the life of me, like, uh, like all the kids like, showed up for a while, and we're just like, what? what happened to our play structure? Like Somebody, in their heart, thought to themselves, you know what? The best thing that I can do to help humanity is to light this wooden structure on fire that everybody else gets so much joy from. My life is so bad and I am so wicked that I get pleasure in burning down what other people treasure. That's what people that don't desire peace do. They, They get a morbid sense of pleasure of watching other people be destroyed and watching lives be destroyed. Abigail, this is not her heart. She could have, just like that play structure, been like, you want, I'm going to put these two men together. I'm going to watch them fight. And I'm just going to sit back and watch. I get pleasure out of watching other people get destroyed. But she didn't do that. She, she chose to be a peacemaker. She goes and begs to David, please do not do this. She wants what is right, not what is self-serving or beneficial for herself. She wants peace. Abigail understands that conflict helps no one. Destruction helps no one. Peace is better. 